Hey everybody, welcome to Uncle Dave's Brigade. Today I've got Phil Collins's in the air tonight, 1980 and uh, 81 actually. And what does Phil Collins have to do with the Alamo in Texas? You know that epic battle? Well, I'll tell you in a few minutes. Got a little teaser for you. Hi, for all of you who are new to this channel, I'm Uncle Dave, and I do things a little differently. I talk in the beginning, I talk at the end, I don't stop the video at any time. I may say something in the video, but I'm not a first reaction. I know all the songs and artists that I play. So, let's get to the music. I'll give you some history, trivia, that kind of thing at the end. So stick around. We'll find out what's going on with the Alamo and Phil Collins. Got an in-concert video, so hit like, subscribe, post notification bell, leave a comment. It's real important to me. High quality video today. up the fans and teasing them a little bit.
Simple, straightforward, powerful performance. I mean, that's uh, <clears throat> that's about as good as it gets on a performance like that, man. And that's that's really a great performance. Simple, but powerful. Uh, that song was written in 1980 due to a breakup with his wife, a divorce, and his anger towards that whole situation. I won't go into all the details, but uh, they had a divorce and. It, created a lot of pain for the whole family, and this was him expressing. In fact, the whole album that it came off of was him expressing the pain and the breakup for that particular uh, um, situation there. And um, this was uh, a song that was very popular in Miami Vice, put it in one of their episodes, very popular episode there that it made a huge hit again after it was put into the Miami Vice episode as well. But uh, Phil grew up uh, in England, born in London, got a set of boy drums at age five. And at age seven, get this, get this, at age seven, he was singing uh, at a resort and the orchestra was playing the ballad of Davy Crockett. Very popular song way back when, in the 50s. And he was seven years old, he was singing, and he stopped the orchestra and told them, you're singing, in, you're, you're, you're playing in the wrong key. I'm singing in this key. You need to be in that key as well. Can you imagine being seven years old and telling a group of adults that, hey, you're not doing it right. This is what I'm singing and fix it. <laughs> he knew what he was talking about. So anyway, um, get to what does this have to do with the Alamo? Or what does Phil have to do with the Alamo? Phil Collins has been infatuated with the Alamo and the story of the Alamo, the Great Battle of 1836 here in Texas, my home state. And uh, he has been a collector. He's even written a book about collecting um, artifacts from the Alamo. He had the largest collection in the world of artifacts from the Alamo. 
and a few years ago, he donated his whole collection to the Alamo for display at the museum, which is, you know, the Alamo is now a museum, and he donated that. And we, the Texans, are very grateful and very thankful for that because um, it brought home so many artifacts that were uh, dispersed across the world. And he, we, we appreciate that very much. And so he, he parted ways with them and gave them to us. Didn't sell, didn't auction them all. He gave them to us. Thank you, Phil. We appreciate that. So we made him an honorary Texan, which we don't uh, do very often. So, um, you know, y'all, uh, y'all have an honorary Texan order for at least one, but, um, Anyway, he was the singer drummer for Genesis, then he you know, was drummer only, then moved up front when Peter Gabriel took off, then he went solo afterwards. So, a little bit about Phil, we'll have more of his stuff, he's got some great stuff with Genesis and solo. So, thanks a lot for dropping by, I hope you liked it. Hit like, subscribe, post notification bell and so forth, leave a comment, leave a suggestion, any songs you want to hear, I'm going to try to get to it. So. Thanks for dropping by. Be nice to each other. Be nice to yourself. Don't forget to do that. Okay.